Hello and welcome back to Pink Monarch Prints. And my name is Bobby. I'm from Precious Memory Boxes Junk Journaling and I'm a guest designer here. And today I wanted to show you how to create a folio, a file folder folio, that you can use to hold all your kit pieces in. And then when you're finished with your kit and maybe have some leftovers, you can leave them in this folio and use it as a type of filing system for yourself so you know where all your pieces to a particular kit are. So we're going to start out with a file folder and you'll need your scoreboard and there are two scores that we're going to make. And let me get that out of there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my folio over so that my tab is up there. Um, just depends on the orientation of your tab. You can really do it any way that you want as long as your tab is up. And we're going to go to eight and a half and we're going to score. Just make sure that your line goes all the way through on both sides and it did. And then we're going to flip our folio this direction. And we are going to go to five. Let me see, five and a half, and then one more dot over, and oh, not staying in the channel there. And we're gonna score again. All right, and that's your two scores. That's all you need. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna open up our folio. We're going to bend up our bottom, make sure it bends and folds correctly. And then your two sides are going to bend in. And before you really uh, squish them down, make sure that you're lined up. And you may want to even, we're going to cut out these corners to eliminate some of the bulk. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and I'm going to cut to the inside of the inside flap so that it will uh, lay nicer. So I'm going to go ahead and cut to the inside of that and then I'm going to cut right on the line, on the score line. And there's one. You can keep that if you want to make an extra flap or use it to back a piece of ephemera. File folders make great backers. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to cut just to the inside of this flap here. That way when we fold up our flaps, they will lay a little nicer. Okay, And you'll have this little space here that will make it easier for you to fold down your sides and you can line them up easier that way. So I'm gonna fold them down. Now I'm gonna make one more cut right along here. You can leave this as a solid piece if you want, um, but if you're gonna open and close this a lot, I think it's better if you cut it, it'll help it to lay flat. Now I'm gonna cut this ever so slightly at an angle until I reach the center. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here, ever so slightly. There we go. And I'm going to just pull that little piece out. And there again, that way, your pieces, once you put your paper and everything on them, will lay easier. And there is your folio. And it measures out to approximately, let's see here. We've got um, a little more than five and a half inches wide and eight and a half inches um, long. You could even add this to a journal if you want. Um, you can sew it in here on the side, um, but I like to use mine as a storage ephemera folder. So I have one already done and I have the pieces cut out for my flaps and I have it inked up and I've 
some places you see I've got the ink really heavy and that. It, it doesn't matter. It's just all on personal preference there. But I have it all inked up. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with the inside. And I use several of the papers from this month, August uh, subscription, subscription kit. Um, I've got the beautiful roses. And I love this design. And then we've got a collage paper, the one with the beautiful butterfly. And then a couple more. This is like a newsprint. It's kind of hard to see because it's real light. And just some different pieces all from our kit this month. So let's start with, we're going to start with the two back pieces. And basically, I like to see a little bit of my um, edges. So you just have to line it up the way you like. You know, what you like to see. I am trying to keep it between the folds so that it will fold easier. And then I'm just going to use glue stick. If I can get the lid off there. All right. You can use glue stick, liquid glue, you know, your choice of adhesive. I just used printer paper to print these on so that I wouldn't create any extra bulk. And let's see. Trying to keep all my edges somewhat even with each other. Now you don't have to make the paper go all the way down to the bottom if you don't want to, since you're going to be uh, having this pocket here. But sometimes I think it. I just like to do that. It look, makes it look more finished and full that way. There's our back pieces. All right, next, I'm going to grab the pockets. And let's see. I had to, um, what I like to do to get the right shape is I will take the paper that I have and I will put it underneath like a full sheet of paper. Here, let's see. I think I have a full sheet of paper. And what I will do is I'll take that full sheet of paper and put it underneath my flaps and then I trace it. And then I just have to trim it down a little bit if I want my edges to show. So it's a really quick and easy way. And so I just have to figure out which one goes to which one and w which direction I cut them in. <laughs> so I should have marked them flap one and flap two on the back, but okay. I actually think that one goes right there. Hope everyone's having a nice day. It's extremely warm here, but I guess it is summertime, so we just got to learn to go with it. There we go. All right, let's see how we want to line this one up. Okay, that one looks like it goes that direction. I'm just going to keep my finger on this end to remind me which way it goes when I go to pick it up. Oops. All right. And you can use, you know, this with any kit you have or any papers. You could also make it a, you know, a gift folio. Just a fun folio. You could actually um, create a spine in here if you wanted to add a signature for a, you know, folio with a signature in it. So there's lots of ways to decorate these. All right. So next, we're going to figure out which papers we want to go on our inside here. And so I'm trying to remember which ones I cut for where. And I believe that's correct and this is correct. There we go. 
and this is the hardest part of this whole thing it's just cutting out the papers and getting them glued on so it really doesn't take that long to make one of these And then I pre-inked, but you can come back and ink some more if you want that to be more covered in. Or I want it to look a little more rustic and grungy. And I used a walnut stain as my ink. This is a beautiful neutral kit this month so you can uh, coordinate it along with everything you have all right so we got the insides done and then I'm going to close that up close this up and we're going to add our papers now to here and I picked out the butterfly one and then I've got this one here that's a collage of um, like uh, letterheads and invoices and advertisement. And the name of this month's kit is uh, French Country. And it has just like a, it has a lot of beautiful neutrals and a somewhat of a little bit of a botanical feel. Okay, I got that a little off. So let me see if I can fix that. Nice thing about glue stick is if you do it quickly enough you can reposition it. There we go. Alright, let's do this one. Now we're going to do something a little bit different to this one than I've done to other ones. Is we're going to add some extra vellum pockets in because in this month's kit, there's a lot of uh, little pieces, labels, little tags in that. And if I put them in a pocket, I may not be able to see them. So I want to have a place where I can have those in there and I will be able to see those. All right. All right, and there's the inside of our folder. I may ink this just a little bit more. And then we'll work on our vellum pocket. And you can always trim up anything that you, you know, see that sometimes the paper will hang over just a little bit and you might want to Trim it up just to make everything look nice and even. All right, that looks a little better. There we go. And then now we're going to do the, let's see, let's go ahead and do the inside vellum pockets. Now I have seen a lot of people work with vellum. I actually have never worked with vellum myself but I think it it's, probably won't be too hard just to make some pockets. So we're gonna measure this just to give ourselves a rough measurement of what we need here. And it looks like it's about five, five and a quarter. I'm gonna do five and a quarter. I'm gonna cut two pieces at five and a quarter. All right, so we need them five and a quarter long. Need to go this 
direction. Here we go. That's five and a half. Here's five and a quarter. Okay. There's our five and a quarter long. And my cutting board has a score tool on it too. And I need to pop that off there so it's not in the way of cutting. And then we're going to make them... Uh, let's see. Maybe... Maybe two inches deep. So I'm going to come over here, line this up at the two inch mark, and we're going to cut two of these, one for each side. And there we go. We'll set this back over here. And we're going to use the Barely Arts glue. It works really well with vellum. Um, when it dries, you won't see the extra, you won't see the glue. So I'm going to go ahead and just glue this on three sides. Sorry for all the squeaking. This desk, I'm not sure how to make it stop squeaking. Okay, so we're gonna line that up about right there. Press down our edges. And by hopefully by the time we've uh, finished our outside, these inside pockets will be dry. And make sure I've got that straight. All right, and now we're gonna do this one. This way, when we put those little labels in there, we will be able to see them. We are also gonna add some other pockets to the inside here. I'm gonna to try to get those right about the same. Oops. There we go. All right, so we're gonna let our vellum pockets dry. And we're gonna check out some of the pockets that come with the kit. So let me grab them out here. And we can decide which ones we wanna use. And I tell you what, this kit is full of pockets and labels and all kinds of fun little pieces to work with. All right, so I was thinking about adding a pocket on each of the flaps here. And we need to glue these down too while we're in here. So I like that one. Now we can go the same direction. Might do a different color maybe. Oh, I like that. And then, let's see. We've got that one, or do we want something more contrasting? Let's do that one, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and ink the edges. Hopefully I'm staying in camera shot. Sorry if I'm not there. All right, and I'm gonna glue my two edges. Actually, I'll glue this edge right here too, so the short edge. And I'm gonna add that right there. Do the same with this pocket. I forgot to ink that one. That's all right. 
we might be able to come back and eat two sides of it there. Okay, so we've got those pockets. And I think these are too big. Yes, they're too big for the side. So let's see what other type of pockets we might have here. And let's see, or we might do a tuck. We have some beautiful ephemera pieces that we could turn into a pocket. Or a little tuck. I'm looking to see if I cut out any other pockets, but I think that might be all I have. So we'll do a little side tuck over here on this one. And let's see, let me grab See if I have my little one inch punch that I can make a notch at the top. There it is. So I want to make a notch at the top of this one. So it'll be easier to get your pieces in and out. And this one. I'm thinking, wondering if I need to cut it down a bit. I hate to lose the little butterfly here, but I think it's just a little bit too tall. Sorry about that. If I'm out of screen there, so I'm gonna cut this down just slightly and we'll save that. We can use that as a label somewhere. And we're gonna cut a notch in the top of this one also. There we go. All right, let's ink these up and glue them down. So we're going to glue down three edges of this one. There we go. And then we'll glue down this one over here. You can see everything I'm doing. It's kind of fun with folio. It kind of stretches out across the table. So, all right. So there we go. And then I need to glue these pockets down. We're going to use some liquid glue because it's a little, little stronger than my stick glue there. All right. I didn't cut little notches in these because I plan to mostly put like journaling cards in there. So I think it'll they'll be tall enough that you can pull them out. All right, so there is the inside of our folio. So we've got pocket, 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 two more pockets. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pockets on the inside of our folio. All right, not sure if we want to add anything to these. I think maybe just a little, maybe a little decoration or something instead of a pocket. Let's get out some of our pieces here. Here we go, lots of little pieces. All right, so we've got the bird, we've got a bouquet, butterflies, Lots of beautiful pieces. Here's a jar. I love that little bird. Oh, he'll be perfect for that side. We've got a typewriter. 
I love this butterfly, but we already have the big butterfly up there, so we'll see what we can find. Maybe we'll put a tag on this side. Okay, let's see what else we could put on this side with our bird. I'm going to go ahead and ink him up just so he won't seem too bright with the rest of it. So we've got him. Let's see, we've got a number tag we can use. And another uh, fun thing about this kit is if you want to pre-ink all your pieces, um, you could do that and then, you know, save them in your folio. All right, let's see. Anything else I want to add with this? I'm looking for a little tag, maybe. Yeah, I like that. There we go. Whoops, that's sticking to my finger. And I'm just going to ink that so that we can get the white edges. Okay. And let's see. Do we want to paper punch the little hole? I've got a little ribbon punch here. Let's do this. Let's see if we can line this up in there and do a little ribbon punch. There we go. All right. So we're going to glue this down first. And I like to back all my pieces of ephemera and tags and journaling cards. So I will take the neutrals that are part of the kit and use them also on the backs. I've got the beautiful tag there. We're going to put our bird down next. There we go, and then our number. All right, there we go. Beautiful, I love that. Okay, let's move our little pieces off to the side here. And we will move on to the front. I'm going to leave this for now because I really, I just really love that by itself. I think it's beautiful. All right, so let's go to the outside here. And let's see, where did I set my papers? There they are. Okay, so we're first going to glue down the back. And I just picked a pattern paper. So we're just going to use our glue stick here. Glue this on down. There are usually um, approximately 15 papers that come along with the kit that you can use. So there's lots of papers to choose from. I believe I used about six or seven different ones on this one just because I like all the, you know, contrast. Pull that up just a little bit. There we go. All right, that's the back. And then the front is this beautiful collaged paper with the rose. And it's got the ledger, and it's just got beautiful colors. Beautiful pink and um, greens on it, and I just love it. So we're going to go ahead and glue it down. So 
going to get this where I want it first. Make sure my borders on each edge are about the same. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to smooth that down. And then I'm going to wrap it around. I want to see that on the back side. Try to make sure it's lined up with my other paper. And then we're going to find something to decorate the front. And on the back, we're going to add an envelope. So let me go ahead and ink that. And again, this will just be more storage for you. And you can use your scoreboard or you can just fold along the lines. I usually like to just, you know, fold myself. So. And this is kind of like a coin envelope. So it's going to be a long envelope. I'll go ahead and use the liquid glue here just to give it a little more strength. And I like to print um, all my like ephemera and pockets, um, little pieces like that. I like to print them all on the um, 110 pound cardstock. Oh, that wasn't smart. I just realized I shouldn't have done that <laughs> because then I won't be able to put pieces down inside. There we go, that's what I should have done. So hopefully when that dries, I'll be able to take my bold, bold I'll get it here in a minute, <laughs> bone folder, that's what I was trying to say, and I can uh, keep that from sticking there. We'll get that in there, and I'll come back with my bone folder after it's dried, and we will have that, uh, open up. You could use this for a long tag, whichever way you like. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. And I don't think I'm going to put anything behind it. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue all over it. What I might do after it's dry, completely dry, is take a little ribbon and put right here to decorate the seam. All right, so there's the back. On the front, I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna maybe find a label. Let's see. There's a tag. Let's see what else we might have in here. We've got lots of labels. We've got some beautiful pieces like this. That's almost too close in color. So let's see. We could do something like that. We've got this beautiful bird journaling card. And let's see, we've got some words down in here. This, Like I said, this kit is just chock full of goodies. We've got a circle. Let's see if we have a circle that's maybe a different color. We've got some filled notes, I like that. Do we like the green or the brown better? I think I like the green. We have some labels here. We're just gonna make it simple on the front. That way we can see the beautiful rows. Now you can punch these little pieces or cut them out here. I'm just gonna ink them just to save time, but you could take your whole punch and punch those, even add some little brads to those. That would look really nice. Okay, and let's find a label we want to go with it. We do one like that, or let's see, maybe one like this. And then I was also thinking of maybe a word. 
What do we want to use? We've got peace, love, unity, nature, remember, lessons learned, take it in. All right, let's pick one. Let's do take it in. All right. And let me ink these real quick. You wouldn't have to have anything on the cover if you don't want it. It's beautiful by itself. And these little folders will hold quite a bit. So don't be afraid to put your pieces in there. Oops. All right. And I still want that rose to show, so I think I'm going to kind of do this to the side here. I moved it in just a little bit in case I decide to add some lace later on. How much you decorate it really is just up to you and your purpose for your folio, but mine is to store all my kit pieces in. Do I want that there? It's kind of the same color, so I'm going to move it over just a little bit. Well, I don't like that. All right, we're going to go right there with it. And there we go. There is our folio. Kit folio. We're going to call it our kit folder to where we can add our pieces that we've cut out. If you're, if you're like me, I like to get the kit and cut all the pieces out. And then this would be a great way to hold those. So we're going to open it up and let's see what we can fit inside here now. So we've got several journaling cards. So let's layer them in there. Okay. We've got some tags, some small tags. We've got some large pieces that we could put in there, but we'll wait here first and see what else we can get in. And we've got some tall tags. So the only thing about your tall tags and that is it might cover up your little place where we got for all these little labels, but they're easily removable to where you can move them and you'll be able to still see them easy enough. Let's see, we've got some more tags here. I'm just grabbing out a bunch of things here from the kit that we can put in here. We've got some more journaling cards. We've got, oh, here's some pockets I forgot about that we have. We might add another pocket, just one of these small ones right here. All right, so let's just fill this in and see what we can do with it here. All right, so we use this pocket to add all of our little butterflies. And on this side, I'm going to add the non little insects. So we've got some flowers, a telephone, typewriter, a hat, more butterflies there. So as you can see, I'm already getting quite a few pieces in here. And then we could also, we'll scoot these over a little bit, we can add some tags down in here. Okay. And let's see, we'll move some of these over a little bit. And on this side, I'm going to add some of these little smaller tidbits. So this is a great way if you have a vellum pocket that you can see all those little pieces and not forget that you have them. All right. And so we'll just add a few more pieces in here. go some more labels all 
All right. You could also, you could also create another pocket there if you want, but I think I am going to add that pocket real quick. All right. It's got a little place on it that you could even stamp if you want to. You want to stamp a word in there or put one of our little words from the kit in there. All right, and I'm going to cut off, take my little cutoff piece that's a great little label, put it in there. We'll add a few more journaling cards in here. That's an extra pocket. Okay. Then we can take, um, we'll hold on to those just a moment, and let's put some of our tags in here. And we can put some of our smaller tags down here. You can even put a few of your medium-sized tags in there if you want. There we go. So lots of tags. There's some more. Here's just like a little journaling card. I think that will fit in there. There we go. There's another pretty tag. That one's a little tall, so we'll have to do maybe some of our shorter tags in there, or we can do some over here. There we go. There's all kinds of places to just store your goodies in in here. And as you can see, I can still get more in here. The pockets are pretty loose. You can take these if you want before you've folded them, and they will cover up those behind there, but you still have room in this pocket, and you can pull them out easy enough and see your other pieces that you made. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope you'll give it a try and maybe make one of these, and uh, maybe post a picture in the subscription group so we can see it. And the last thing we need to do is maybe have a closure for it. And I keep the closures on these simple because you're going to be opening and closing them a lot. So you want something that's simple for you to open and close. So I've just got a piece of ribbon here. And I've got a light pink that kind of goes with the pink on the paper. And we'll just give it a little bow. And you can see how much this can still expand. It's got a little give to it. So you still have room to, to expand it. So, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you'll make one. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.